night. Hi, I'm Anders. Welcome to our Extraordinary Beer channel. Today we're going to go and we're going to follow the route that we did last week and we're going to look at some beers uh, that have sold well over 2020. Uh, Nigel's going to take you through these beers. These are the top selling cask ales, but of course we haven't got them in casks, we've got them in bottles just so we can compare. But the top, top three in the UK in 2020 were Doombar at number one. 4.3%. Uh, Green King IPA, which comes in at 3.6 percent. Yep, and in third place we have London Pride by Fuller's, which is a 4.7 percent. 4.7, yes. 4.7. And if I remember correctly, what we're going to do is we're going to do them in order of well, first, second, and then third. Is that yes, right? In, in the order, because I yes. suspect which one I'm going to prefer, and I'd like that one last. <laughs> I, I'm with you on that one all the way. I've had all three of these beers in the past. I've had all three of them in pubs before and all three out of bottles before. So I, I think I know what I'm expecting. Uh, and and I, I'd concur. Absolutely. All the way. So, Doombar it is. Go yes. to Beer Cam. Beer Cam's off. Let's get this rolling. Okay. Right. Doombar, which is brewed by Sharps in uh, Cornwall. Doom Bar, of course, is, if I remember correctly, a sandbank um, at the mouth of the Carroll Estuary and uh, is a test for any sailor, any sailor, sorry. Um, and uh, that's all I have to say about it. Well, it's a lovely amber colour, which you expect from a, an amber ale. You would. Mm. I must say it's, it's it's got quite a pleasant aroma. It's just you know why I, I, I it's it's beer. It smells of beer. It does smell of beer, but do you know what? Funny enough, yeah. But it's it's just a very light. You get the light malts coming through from it there. Yeah, it is light malt, and it is it is it's actually a very pleasant smell. I, I I'm surprised. Anyway, I'm going to dig in. Let's take a sip, shall we? No, <clears throat> that's not offensive. It's not offensive? No, I, I mean, going back to the lagers we did the other week, the top ones were not that nice. No. Uh, that's actually drinkable. <laughs> It is drinkable. Let's say um, the, the problem is I've just come back from it. I've done a whole load of exercise and I'm very thirsty. So this, I could drink anything and it would taste it's like amber really nectar. To size, is it? <laughs> um, but it's all right. It's um, there was, you get a little bit of the hops coming through. I've got a little bit Tiny of bit. you've got to search for it a little bit yeah but i've, I've so, got a bit of caramel coming through as well yeah but caramel i've almost got an artificial bit of flavor at the end of that mm -hmm. but if i've got to sum this up it's bland uh a pleasant bland certainly i i i, I yeah there's nothing offensive as you said um it's not exciting. Um, to be honest, there's not a lot I can say about this. Uh, it's not one I tend to choose in the pub. Uh, I do know anyone there, so I have bought it in the past. What I will say is that I certainly have had Doom Bar on tap. Um, and it, it does taste slightly better. I'd say there. all three that we're viewing today are much, much better than we've mm. got straight from the cast, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, and I've, I've actually quite enjoyed a pint of this in the pot before, to thinking, oh, that's very nice. Mm. But it's the situation I think I was 
quite thirsty. I needed a drink and it, it served its purpose. Yeah. Uh, that's not a lot. Not a lot I can say about this one though. We just had a quick break. I've been drinking. And for me, I'm, I'm this doom bar is starting to get taste a little chemically and artificial the further down I go. It was quite it was drinkable at the top, but I'm not enjoying it now. Well, after again, after all my exercise this morning, it was like nectar when I first went in. Um, I'm aware of its limitations. I've had it from the bottle before, um, but it tasted magnificent, really nice and fresh. Um, but as Nigel says, we've had a little break and we've gone down towards the end of the, the glass. And yeah, there's a prefabricated flavour that's sitting in the back of the throat as it as it finishes. Um, and yeah, I'm not a fan. Um, I would I would say, as you said, it'll taste better from uh, from a tap, but in a bottle. No, sorry. Well, that's out the way. That's how I feel about that one. Done and dusted. Thank you. Okay. Right. Okay. But it amazes me how the top selling beers, the lagers, they were bland. And as beers go, that's pretty bland and poor quality. In my opinion. You think that's how you make, you make a good, good selling beer? Blandness. I think so. I think we're getting all the brewing wrong and instead of getting fantastic flavours as the whole craft community, that's what they're looking for in the beers. They've got it all wrong. You've just got to brew something bland. Using perhaps the cheapest ingredients you can find. Yeah, and that adds to it. And then you'll get a top selling beer on your hands with the right marketing. Of course, marketing. <laughs> all important. Right, are we going to go on to our, our next one, are we? Which is the uh, Green King IPA? Yeah, Green King of Fire up the account. You do that. <coughs> Get this in the glass. Um, I can't remember if we've done uh, Green King before um, on here. Um, but it's it's um, a brewery based in Norfolk, I believe. Is that right? Yes, it's Norfolk. Thank you, pardon. Um, and me. Edmonds? I'm sorry? Barry St. Edmonds, isn't it? Yes, that's it, yeah. Uh, immediately I'm getting a smell hmm, from the bottle, which is beery. <laughs> oh, we're so professional at this, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, <laughs> in the year that we've been doing this, we've come a long way. Yeah, that smells like beer. It does. Um, one thing I was going to note about the Doom Bowl, which I did forget to mention, was the amount of noise that was created created when I poured it. Mm -hmm. Very noisy, very gaseous. Yeah. And the reason I mention that is because I can feel it well, this, rummaging around my chest at the moment. This smells a little bit soapy if that makes uh, oh, I don't know it's just I know I'm, I'm not getting a lot from it to be honest with you well this is an IPA this one so the first one was an amber ale this one's an yeah. IPA so it's meant to be more heavily hopped so you think that it's just you think the aroma would be a bit, a bit stronger but it's it's really not Oh, the, the uh, caramel. That's what I really got, just that malty caramel. That's the thing that hit me more than anything with that. <laughs> it's sweet as you like. Yes. Um, sweet caramel. Oh, oh, and I tell you, ooh, ooh. Once that caramel dies away, there's a quite unpleasant finish to it. Now, we actually, we, we met up and we had a beer and the beer garden because that's what we're allowed a couple of weeks ago we did didn't we and it was a green king pub and we drank a couple of pints of this yeah and this is a different drink completely 
completely. Uh, oh, the, well. the Green King IPA we had was was not exciting. Not no, it wasn't exciting. It was bland, but this is just bordering on offensive. It really is. I mean, the, the, like you say, the, the taste is the caramel taste is it it punches you in the tongue. Um, it's far too heavy-handed. Oh, and I've actually got some of the hops coming through that that second tasting, and that that was uh, that was quite a pleasant experience. That little bit, but that upfront caramel malt was just. Um, no, I don't like it at all. And I, the ah, uh, the end is a very dry biscuit. Yeah, I, I would know take experience as I go through this. As I get through this, yeah, I know at the end it's just going to be bland, and all the excitement goes by the time you get to the bottom of the, the, this glass. As we yeah. found out in the pub that time with this, it's um, yeah, it, it I, uh, the caramel is just. Yeah, it, it's the caramel is too strong. It's too sweet. It's, it's, too too it's just, and then once you take it away, you're left with a, mm, you're left a, with a, a proper IPA. <clears throat> it's meant to be a bit stronger. Mm -hmm. I don't think. Uh, three, what's this? Three point six, three point eight. Three point six, I think. This is very, very, which is very weak for an IPA. Yeah, and and it's meant to be heavily hopped. I, I think it fails on all points of the definition. This tastes more like a an amber ale, a best bitter. It does bitter, not even the best one. Do you know what it's? It's like a it's an it's like an out of date chocolate biscuit. That's what it is. It's <laughs> <laughs> you you've sucked off all 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 the slightly dubious caramel sweetness and you're left with what is to all intents and purposes a stale rich tea and it's <laughs> really yeah i'm not liking it at all i'm not enjoying this no um well this has just been a struggle it really has i've not enjoyed this uh, you've said it all. Um, it's it's weak, which doesn't necessarily make a beer bad, but it it's uh, it's too weak for an IPA. Um, it just it's the malt it tastes just so high up in the mix that 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 caramel malt is just in your face. It just ruins the whole thing. But, but some people would quite like that. Well, again, obviously, because it's the second best cast beer sales. Um, I'm very aware, actually, as we talk about this, that we might come across as being slightly snobby. Yeah, there is. That. I don't want to do that because people are just drinking what they're being given. Yeah, but the thing is, there's so much better beers out there. Yeah. It, it, it's okay. Have you finished yours yet? Yeah. Right. We're all done. It's gone to London Pride. I have a suspicion this might be a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put beer oh, yeah. hot. London Pride, brewed by Fuller's up in Chiswick. Um, you can get a beautiful view of the Chiswick Brewery from the Chiswick flyover, if you're interested. You will not get a view from the Chiswick flyover. I can guarantee. I'm sorry? You don't get a view from that. Well, you do if you're Cavalier. No, you can't because it's such a narrow flyover thing. <laughs> You cannot take your eyes off the road because it's, it's it's terrifying. I love it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> when I take my daughter up to university, we get the option to go either sort of like off the M3 onto the M25 and then four. 
but we always go straight on through Richmond because we know we're going to go through the Chiswick flyover. And what I do is I that slow is right. It's it an experience. It is an experience, yeah. And what I do is before I get to, the, to it, I slow right down, giving myself room so that I can just floor it. And I tell you, there's no bigger kick than that. Yeah, but if I love you're it. it. Are you taking in the view of the Pillars Brewery? You're As not. Well. You're yeah. not the, the edge of this narrow roadway. <laughs> For people who don't know this, it, it's, it's a single single lane over there. It's a single lane flyover, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. And, and it doesn't seem that robust. No, it's not that wide. No. So you've got about that much clearance from your car either side. Well, it feels like that. Of course, you've got a couple of bollards on the entrance, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So you've got to fit through that stuff. And I, I remember driving a friend's BMW 7 Series through there thinking, well, it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> no. It did, but, you know. Yeah, but we, we have friends that live near there, so I know it very well. Yeah. Anyway, anyway Fuller's London Pride. It's in the glass. It's an amber colour, because it, it's an amber ale, funny enough. Yeah. Not much on the aroma there. There's a slight sweet aroma, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm second sniff there. I've got a little bit of a... Sweet a bit toffee. Yeah, yes. Mm hmm. Anyway, going in. Let's go. Oh, that's so different. And already. It's like the gods of beer have re re revealed themselves. This is just oh, a different league. The, this is the difference between cheap mass produced stuff and well this is cheap mass mass, mass produced but yeah you've got that, that 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 when you the flavor is elongated the experience yeah. in the mouth you get mm. there's different things going on all the stages and it's just stretched out the, the flavors with this this is quite nice this is yeah infinitely nicer than those two Oh. There's no particular strong flavour that's slapping you around. No, the, the first thing, the thing it's balanced. It is. Yeah. Uh, it's got after the if if you, the one we had before the Green King IPA mm. it was like a, a cartoon beer because everything was that caramel was so enhanced it was a cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is just. It's proper. It's real life. It's it's balanced. It's everything is just better. Yeah. Uh, times ten. It's yeah. But it, you, you do. But, yeah. It's well, so oh, well rounded. Because nothing's jumping out. It's just a nice, nice. Beer. It's well rounded and it's smooth and it's flavorful. Um, it, it's not so much the sort of the the taste of a stale rich tea more a, a sort of like a freshly baked cookie it's it's got a biscuity feel to it but it's just nice and it's it, actually a little bit lighter than the other beers i think you th are you thinking that are you okay just think back to the it's definitely lighter than the the, the ipa because that was just <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, you might be right, but I, I, I will say that. Um, oh, it, it's so nice. It's like a warm hug, isn't it? <laughs> it really is like a warm hug from a beer after having a couple of abusive relationships with a couple of bad beers. You've you come home to found London. love, <laughs> <laughs> true love. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it, this is lovely. Really nice. Oh, the, it, it, it's the length of time you get the flavour hit. You got 
there's nothing overpowering and then it just carries on and you get yeah. you're getting little nuanced flavors going on aren't you all the way yeah you've got that little hot tingle just just right at the end just right yeah yeah lovely it's in your face it's just a little bit of a tickle yeah it's nice. playful tickle yeah little oh, break we've got rid of most of it for me this is deteriorated as I've got down the glass. Uh, it's still, it's still streaks ahead of the other two that we've, we've had, Doom Bar and the, the Green King IPA. Uh, but it's lost a bit of its zing that I had at the start. Um, to me, not so much. No. Um, I can see what you're saying. Yes, it has got a little bit sweeter as we've, as we've gone down. It wouldn't stop me buying another pint in the pub if I was there. Or no, the bottle. no, because it is good. Yes. It is good. Uh, Green King IPA, Doom Bar, well, it's, not so much. It's a, bit, it's a little bit stronger than the other two. It's 4.7, so you're going to have more depth of flavour or potential. There's more to play with. Yeah. And, and I think they've done well. For a mass-produced beer, Yes, this, this it comes is, in third best car scale. I think this is exceptional. And if it went on taste, this should be the best seven. But yeah. it's not done on taste. We know that because no. the bland is good and marketing is king. And marketing determines what goes first. Yeah. Not, not taste. And marketing will dictate cheapest produced beers will, will win. Yeah. I, I think it's as simple as that. I don't think you're wrong. Um, but I. I, I think, uh, as, as yeah, as far as this goes, for a third place, best-selling car scale in the country. Yeah. Given that the first well, two well, are shocking, but this well, does a fine job. Hmm. Ching. What I'd like to do for a future episode. Okay pitch that against something like Trooper or Jail Ale or some of the other exceptional bitters we've, we've tasted, just to see how that compares with, I mean, when you buy these from the supermarket, it's the same price. Yeah, so, four for, you so, know, six pounds or whatever, you know. That, we'll, we'll have some semi-finals for all the best beers later on in the year. Yeah, I think so. I think, um, I think given, yeah, given the constraints of the market, I think given that place one and two are awful, to come up with a, a, a well-rounded thing like that, I think they've done a great job. Yes. Definitely our winner today, would you say? Oh, definitely. Uh, Street thing. Uh, yes, easy peasy. Anyway. On that note, we uh, should go. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment if you wish, please do. Um, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, all right. Bye. Bye.